Hello again, I hope you are well. Before we can put together a field development project, we need to gather information about the field, enabling us to find productive formation that we will develop. As we mentioned before, geologists conduct field surveys in order to build maps and study rock outcrops. They also study information on regional geology, obtain and analyze aerial and satellite images. All these pieces of information are used as blocks for building general description of the area. Geophysicists add their own blocks. Information obtained during investigation of processes related to the Earth physics. They investigate magnetic fields, gravity fields, and characteristics of elastic waves passing through rock formations or, in other words, seismic surveys. Magnetic meters measure smallest changes in induction of of magnetic field. Sedimentary rocks are pretty much non-magnetic, while volcanic rocks are very strong magnetic materials. These differences influence magnetic field induction in such a way that thicknesses of sedimentary formations can be calculated, and sedimentary formations might contain oil. Gravity meters measure changes in gravity field of our planet. Gravity field is different in various locations because different rocks have different densities. Volcanic rocks are tighter than sedimentary. A block of granite sitting at shallow depth would influence gravity field more than the same block sitting deeper. Thus, from gravity surveys, we can obtain information on relative positions of rock blocks with various densities. Then comes seismic survey, and I will tell more of them in the separate video. After the information is gathered and analyzed, we drill exploration wells, which are used to find productive formations and determine rock and fluid properties. While an exploration well is being drilled, the reservoir fluid samples and cores are recovered. You do remember from the last week that a core is a rock sample drilled out of the formation, right? And you do remember that cores are studied by geologists who make detailed descriptions interval by interval, study thin sections with microscopes, and thus determine rock properties. Fluid samples are used to determine properties of oil, gas, and water. After the well has been drilled, another survey, the so-called logging suit, is run. It is followed by well testing conducting in order to determine well potential and reservoir pressure. So this week, you will learn more about most commonly used survey methods. See you!